the past one or not? Why on earth are you using it? Oh my god, do you not know that electric cars benefit from the environment more? Do you not know that electric cars benefit from the environment more? Do you not know that electric cars benefit from the environment more? Really man? Yeah! Oh my god, guys! Hi! Are you guys still my electric cars? Yeah! Oh my god! You know I'm presenting my electric cars today? Really? Yeah! Oh my god, this is running late! Quick, quick! We're gonna be late for the show! Good morning, Mr. Seo! Really? You're so late! It's just... Is that? Oh So here are the table of contents. I'll be covering the context, benefits they are linked to three different SDGs, limitations and improvements. Guys, do you know that millions of vehicles in Singapore emit about 6.4 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year? So to tackle this problem, Singapore is resorting to cleaner energy. Do you have products. any idea when Singapore wants to achieve this goal? Question. Singapore is aimed to convert all internal combustion engines vehicles to electric vehicles by 2040 so that all vehicles would run on cleaner energy. Promoting cleaner energy vehicles by using electric cars are linked to SDGs 3, 7 and 13. Now, let's talk about the first benefit. Firstly, electric cars would be better for the environment as they produce fewer carbon emissions than other cars. This will definitely help to reduce the air pollution. Does anyone know what SDG this benefit links to? It is actually linked to two different SDG. Yeah, that's right. For Go3, when fuels are combusted, a large number of chemicals are produced and emitted into the air. In fact, fuel consumption contributes greatly to air pollution as well as greenhouse gas emissions. We are usually exposed to gasoline vapour and gasoline engine exhaust when we breathe. Do you all know that it's also possible to absorb it through our skin or ingest it? Since electric cars produce less carbon emissions, the quality of air will be better which leads to people having good health and well-being. For Go13, since more people are driving an electric car, the greenhouse gas emissions would be lowered. The carbon emissions of electric cars are around 17% to 30% lower than internal combustion engine cars. The emissions of toxic gas also improved when low carbon electricity is used. Secondly, upfront costs are falling. Since electric cars do not need fuel to run and there will be a lower maintenance cost and tax rebates, it can really lead to long-term savings for electric car owners. Last but not least, there are more charging points popping up. One reason some people might be hesitant to switch to an electric car is that they worry that there aren't enough charging stations around. Oh yes! It now can be seen at places like shopping mall car parks and like what you mentioned earlier, HDB car parks too. Yeah, and these benefits are linked to Goal 7 which is affordable and clean energy. It improves power sources. The battery of electric cars can provide power when there's no sun and wind which complements variable power sources like solar and wind. It benefits the energy system as part of city where points are decarbonization in a systematic way. It is also very affordable. This is because electric cars need less maintenance and there's no need to pump oil. Hence, it will help to reduce the expenses. But, there are also limitations. Some people might want to set up their own personal charging stations at home, which cost about 6,000 Singapore dollars, and they have to pay a large electric bill. The single charge uses 7,000 watts and only lasts for 28 hours, which is 2.5 weeks. This is for people who are able to access charging points that are close to them. And secondly, charging time is very long. Even though Singapore is really working on installing more charging points, I believe that they need, it to do, they need to do it at a faster rate so that everyone can access to it. Secondly, the solution is battery swapping. This will involve building a battery that could be swapped out with a fully charged unit in a matter of minutes. This could either be placed in a public place or at home of EV drivers. This idea would solve the range anxiety of EV drivers and the annoying wait times of recharging. Thank you! Okay, so I've come to the end of my presentation. Thank you!